uh, you need to remove these two bolts. Now they're very hard to remove and you need to be, when you put them back, you need to make sure that they're tensioned up to the correct uh, tension, which is quite tight. So you'll need a, a, a socket set with a bit of an extension arm on a longer arm to get them off and do them up. Um, they are adjustable, so you can adjust the angle of the brush and uh, that gives you an idea. But just remember they are only, we've only fed them on a uh, latest model Hilux, 2021 Hilux. I have had a look at others, they seem to be the same, but uh, I wouldn't know until they're tested. Right, I've cut a piece of 40 by 25 mil aluminium. It's cut to a length which is 100 mil less than what uh, the width is that I'm having from my brush, which is uh, about exactly the same width or about 10 mil less than the width of the from mud flat to mud flat on my Hilux. Now this 4025 by 2 mil aluminium, uh, I've fitted the brackets to it with four five millimeter bolts, four five millimeter bolts, countersunk head so it's flush on the inside. And I've fitted the two brackets to it. Now there's a bit of movement up and down uh, that gives you a bit of options for adjusting the height of this bar. You'll see later when I put it on the vehicle that it'll depend on what sort of spare tyre you've got at what height you'll set that at. But you do that first, measure that first by putting the brackets on and then holding up the aluminium bar that you've cut to the right length to, and you can clamp that bracket when it's bolted on the vehicle to the aluminium angle with a G-clamp to get it in the right position before you drill these four mounting holes here. Now when you cut your brush to length, you need to be careful, don't cut it with drops or anything, because um, it actually has a steel pin in here that holds the brush, uh, and it can wreck your blade on your saw, so you just need to be careful there. Now I've pre-drilled my aluminium, down about 20 millimetres from the top, uh, 20 millimetres from the top, uh, one in the centre, and then I've drilled uh, approximately at every 300 millimetres, a hole to mount on the brush. Now, the aluminium then goes on the brush. You'll need to drill your centre one first, I found the best. Put a bolt in it, because you see the brush is not dead straight. So make sure before you drill every hole that the aluminium is firmly up against the top of the brush. Right, now you can see, got it bolted in position. Helps to have two people. Um, and now you can adjust the angle to forward a bit or back a bit. You can see you're limited down the size of your tyre where it is. Now I'm not sure if you'll still be able to get the tyre out with it on or not. That will be something I'll have to try later. Otherwise you'll just have to drop it off to, to change your tyre if need be. Um, you can see there it's about the width of me. Things probably could be a little bit, na a little bit narrower. But um, Anyway, that gives you an idea of what it looks like. Just tighten those bolts up. Job's done. The bolts have got um, nuts hurts in it, so you don't need to worry about nuts. It's only the bolts. Look back here. That's what she looks like back here. Too bad. Looks a bit bad. I wouldn't know if I'd go four wheel driving. We've got on there on rough tracks, but great for towing your caravan or camper bay, camper trailer, especially on, on dirt roads. That will certainly help uh, stony roads. Something like the Unadatta track, where I did tow my, my camper van along there and ended up with dints like anything in my tailgate from stones bouncing off the camper van and bouncing back. So hopefully this will cure that problem and that'll be a problem solved, hopefully. Um, you notice that the brackets, when they're off, you're still gonna have your departure angle won't be uh, affected at all. Um, some people say I should make them thicker, but, you know, I would rather them bend if you actually hit something with them um, than have something thicker that would bend and you couldn't straighten. If these did bend, uh, you'd be able to get a spanner on there and re-straighten them again and they wouldn't do any damage. Um, just watch your head when you crawl under a car when you just got the brackets on. I know I bumped my head twice on it. So that gives you an idea, and that's the angle there. 
as again you can see the clearance and the tyres so some people might have come down a bit lower they've got heavier bigger spares than this i've got a 300 mil brush gives me roughly 100 mil clearance at the bottom there it's a 300 mil rush with 100 mil clearance so it gives you a bit of an idea thank you and here we have all finished now bolted on i've got a bit over 100 mil clearance there now i've got a two inch lift so I'll probably drop down a bit more than that once it's loaded up, another 20 mil or so. Uh, so you'll have to just decide on the brush height. I would suggest that you get the brackets off us. It can be bought at signsplus.com.au. Just uh, shoot us an email asking for the brush bracket brackets for the Hilux. And I'll just come in here and get a bit more an idea of what she looks like. There's a the clearance around the exhaust pipe. A shot here from the front showing how much out so just about just a touch wider than what the mud flaps are so i think should be about pretty right there we are all good